yeah, let's see how this goes. I definitely think this is, uh, I mean, I'm sure Palm Edge Guarding against Orkane is probably hellish, but Palm's not exactly the heaviest character. I think this is going to be a rough that. edgeguard situation for both characters, but we'll see how it uh, plays out. That probably that probably is true. I mean, Pomp's not a character you usually associate with difficulty recovering, but I mean, against Bubbles, she doesn't have oh, a I lot. Oh, I think Bubbles can be very, very difficult because she doesn't get a lot of super armor frames. All right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I don't, I don't know actually. Do does Uppy like destroy the bubbles? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. Uh, I think it might. You might be able to stuff it out for, uh, for maybe the I end mean, of the bubbles, but uh, the full, full brunt now. I haven't yeah, tested I mean, it personally. I'm, I'm sure you can use, uh, you can use Vince probably with the bubbles. I don't imagine Vince dies to a single bubble. No, no, probably not. Yeah, I mean, maybe notes, notes do more than bubbles. Yeah, notes do three, so notes no should take break bubbles. Stock, very nice. Yeah, with that up air. That is how you want to be killing Arcane. Much lighter off the top than off the side. Well, and there's Ooh, back Nice spot. TI really on the back air. Yeah, it's very, very easy nasty to move. Off those. TI properly. Oh, and here we go. Not going to get much off that edge guard. And yeah, just covering that tech yeah. option from down strong. It's a very rough position to be in because, like, is Arcane going to run up and down smash? Is he going to up smash? A lot of things you have to look out for. Very yeah, hard I mean, to option select. A lot of the time, if you're at a high percent versus Orcane, like it's just kind of over, it's how much damage can you do before you get down strong. And I mean, there's obviously plenty of weaknesses Orcane has to get around that. You just need to win that war of attrition because there's only so long you can hold on to your stock for, especially against this character, and especially for a character like Palm that's pretty light. I mean, how strong will kill at this percent if uh, Gatorum can find a conversion. Yep. Unfortunately, this is recovery. Yeah, a lot of SDs today. Here come the Nairs. Yeah, and the Estro's going. Getting that reverse fair. Gotta love those low percent palm combos. Just press buttons yeah. and, uh, not only opponents at 60%. Yep. Oh, that's a Nair. That's a weak Nair in the border. A rough really nice. position to be in. Yeah, and there's that edge guard. Gonna barely get that side B. But not gonna get anything off the reversal, really. On that oh, up air, it's just, very dangerous. Just about misses the yeah. up air. Might have killed. Yeah. Honestly, it probably would have, yeah. Now, Orkane is deceptively heavy. Yeah, but uh, only Jules off the side. Uh, off maybe. the top, he's like a, he's like a midweight. Yeah. Jules Jules, I don't know what Jules Jules like. Jules Jules is like perfectly average in terms of glass stones, I think. True, true. I don't know. I think if you DI the upper correctly, you live there, but DI and calm up air is actually pretty tricky. It's, uh, it's yeah, out away from her. Again. Like, that up one air. definitely would have killed. And gets the, oh, and there's gets the, the forward tilt. Yeah. Winnable. Big DI check move. Okay, never mind. Yeah, 160 is definitely enough. Now, yeah, Snoir taking game one. All right, same character. It looks like we're going Frozen Fortress. Yeah, interesting counter pick. I think uh, Frozen Fortress wouldn't be my first go-to just because it gives uh, gives Pomlob room to like camp around. You know those top plats. Yeah, and the ladders especially that you do with, like Naren up there. Yeah, they get so much better when you have those platforms. And Orkan's yeah, not a character up. that really gets out of those combos easily, so. Not I'm a little curious. Down. I haven't yeah. seen Noir uh, charge more than one, uh, more than one note yet. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like muscle memory from the uh, before the patch. You know, when a note would just go away. There's not really as much reason to charge multiple of them. True. But uh, she keeps them now, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Now she keeps them when she takes damage, so yeah, it's a lot more worth it. Like I'm of the opinion, like when you play rivals, uh, you want to keep your resources at the as high as they can. Like whenever you have free time. Yeah. Yeah, like, there we that's, go. that's really how you punish your opponent for, like, you know, not really approaching you. A lot of the time is you just build your resources. So, it's something you really want to do. Another thing that Pomp can do is uh, Note Field. Beautiful back the air. On that back air. Yeah, very good conversion. Yeah, Note Field on stage is not something we've seen from Noir yet. It's not something a lot of Pomps do, just because Note Field is pretty tricky to use uh, as an offensive tool. But you can do a lot with it in terms of neutral and uh, punish, you know, lots of, like, up the up air stuff, or even just yeah. like with the Omni float, you can do a lot of combos with Nair back air. 
that you wouldn't otherwise see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with the, uh, the top platforms on this stage. Like, very easy yeah. conversion. Exactly. I mean, Arcane can do those too, you know. If you get really those true. sort of, like, Nair, up air combos, you can really carry people up there. And you have some pretty absurd kill power. It's a little uh, harder for Arcane to get to that top platform, though. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he's got he's got this nice big double jump, but a lot of his combos don't really send us upwards as palms tend to. Buffs out the note with the tail. Very good. Yeah. Maybe could have gone for a pair there, but not wanting to risk it is very valid. Yeah, I mean, if you're off, it's like, like why, why risk stuff. it? Just build percent. Yeah. Oh, going for that up strong. Maybe down strong there. This is probably down strong percent. Catches him with yeah, the air. Sure that back air. And wow, Very good space calls out the uh, back air it's, combo. It's tricky position. Oh, nice parry on the notes. Yeah. Good. Doesn't have the bubble. Uh, the puddle, I'm sorry. Yep, there's a oh, down. there is. Yep. Uh, down strong. At last. 90% is going to be tough to come back from, but definitely possible. Yeah, Noir is staying just outside that range uh, for those aerials. This could be dangerous. Gonna make it back. No up air follow up. It's a dash attack. Not gonna really lead to anything at this percent, but it's gonna put Arcane off stage, and that's a very, very tricky position to be in, especially against that forward air. Yeah, that one right there. Ooh. Oh, and there's two notes. Yeah, if you don't cancel them with, uh, you can cancel no charge with dodge at any point. Yeah, this, if you don't, this is gonna be very tricky. Charging them, like, this will go away. Finding that kill little option. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really what uh, Shadow needs, right? To to make back this deficit, and so far it's going pretty well, actually. Yeah, but, you know, it's not so Ooh, scary that's... when you're at like 140, but your opponent's at 70. It's like that's very doable. Yeah. But no, are gonna take game two. Yeah, we're just finding the the conversion that'll still work. I mean, a lot of the time, what's really scary about being a high percent is just anything puts you into an edge guard. So it's really a lot about how good you are at edge guarding to be able to deal with those high percents. And it looks like we're going to the melee classic, Claren on FD. It's a shadow change characters. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't uh, really blame him after how that last two games have gone. Sometimes yeah. they need that X factor pick just to really take back your lead. Even if you switch back to Orcane later, like. Getting that momentum is really important, and maybe Nora's not prepared for this. Oh, for sure. Claren does famously have the winning worship, uh, winning matchup on all of the worship fours, so this might be a little bit easier. And so far, that does seem to be the case. Yeah, very dominant first stock. Yeah. Looks like FD was the pick. Nora's having a lot harder time approaching. At those platforms. I mean, Claren's definitely a character that likes platforms, but uh, you can yeah. really wall out someone like Pom now, Shad with Shadow those strengths. Um, uh, definitely could have seen a, uh, a spirit tree ban. Yeah, and that's definitely. My, that's my, why uh, we're seeing Endless Abyss here. Tempest is another thing Claren might like to go to, but I feel like that's a lot to do with whether you as a player like Tempest, which a lot of people don't. <laughs> I can definitely say uh, I haven't seen Tempest, Tempest hater. Yeah, likewise. Hopefully, I think this, that's his entire call. I, I'd hope so, anyway. Yeah, I'm... Oh, yeah, and there's the upper yeah. I'm definitely glad they changed that in uh, Rivals 2. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go for the parry. I mean, no, no, this is a parry. Now, though. Oh, yeah, all four notes. Not gonna get quite that fourth one, but it's still a lot of damage. You can get a lot of resets off those notes, especially at low percent. Oh, absolutely. It's kind of early damage, and there's already 60%. Yeah, that's why if I was playing Claren, like, you know, I would want to get my field up as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's sort of the Claren counterplay you saw on that edge guard is you can throw Vince into Claren's up B to, like, you know, add a ton of hit pods and makes it way, way easier to punish. We saw Noir doing that, having the, the matchup knowledge there. Lots of panic dodges, panic carries. Yeah, we're playing neutral. Yep. Playing neutral. Side B. Oh, yeah, and there's Vince. Not gonna kill. Good DI on that upper, too. Yeah, just calling that very out. Very nice. Down B. Very nice down B. That can probably be very important on this stage, although not quite staying inside it, so still getting caught by those notes. 
Yep. Unfortunately. Probably the upper fair might have worked there. And doesn't get the tipper, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe could have done side B or something. But yeah, definitely maybe kill didn't want to risk the spacing it. Yeah, probably. Abyss does have a pretty low blast zone too. If anything else, it's just it's very hard to recover without platforms too. Yeah, I think more so for Claren than Palm. But I mean, Claren's oh, probably sure. have a hard time recovering this matchup anyway. So perhaps the uh, benefits outweigh the cost. I mean, so far this counter pick. Uh, has been working out substantially better for Shadow Rim than the, in the previous games, both in terms of character and stage. Yeah, and we're going last stock. Yep, last stock, 54%. Is, totally doable. It's not nothing, but it's very doable, yeah. Stuff's out, Vens. I mean, we're going to have to see those, like, much more drawn out advantage states from Shadow Rim. We've seen, like, a lot of retreats. Uh, sort of like two-piece combos, going for that sort of nickel and dime war attrition, and I'm not sure that's going to work at this much of a deficit. Although so far, it's managing to claw this back pretty easily, getting a lot of these neutral wins. Yep, gets oh, the yeah, field very the nice, that's what we want to see. Very Changes nice combo. Else, yeah. It's kind of interesting, it's, uh, yeah, Clarence Field uh, ruins Palm's recovery. So that's exactly yeah, the kind of spot you would want uh, to put field yeah, in. Yeah, and on Vince again. Yeah, just firing out that no, that could have been a big reversal for Noir. Yep, gets hit by Vince, it's unfortunate. Able to get back on stage. Oh, right, and Noir Shadow the Rim off stage, so that could be really bad. Gets hit by the Using no. the note. Probably a good oh, thing. No. Oh, a gets attacked, very high. good. Oh, and the wake up there. And just calling out the pair with the down strong, very good. And that's going to be Shadow Rim on the board. We are not seeing a second 3-0. All right, it's Rockwall time. Yep. Yep. Th th probably a pretty even stage pick, I would say. Yeah, Maybe probably. Maybe slightly I mean. Palm favored. Yeah, how do you feel about Palm four there? It's a, uh, it's, it's a move. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is a move on this stage. I like uh, dying at fifty percent. That's nice. Miss one edge guard. Yeah, uh, edge guard, yeah. uh, one neutral Definitely. interaction. <laughs> yeah, really, it is just one. Yeah, and then she just, like, you know, stays there and does it four times while floating. Yep. I'm sure that's awesome for Claren to deal with. Oh, very fun. Uh, so far, Claren has not had to deal with it, though. Yeah, we'll see if Noir knows the, uh, the, the hidden attack. Yeah, all right. It's very not gonna go off stage just yet. There's a note, not gonna lead into anything directly, yep. but... Gets it, gets it, dash attack into fair. Classic combo. It's not quite gonna hit. Going for the up strong there. Maybe a missing put. Uh, yeah, kind of. Really Ooh, gets percent. caught by the tipper. Ooh, that's a good call. Out. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit of an early stock. Yeah, definitely. In this stage it's not that early, but it's it's pretty early, especially for yep. just going for that robbery neutral. Well, it goes yeah, for there's the attack there. Uh, forward, forward there. Yeah, Very good. Tech. Back to even. All right. And some Olympic wave landing. Notes gonna get destroyed. Yeah, if you hit Tom while she's charging or, or throwing the notes, they still go away. So it's not completely safe. It's sort of like round of needles like that. Actually it's exactly like round of needles like that. All these tippers. Or is that a deficit now? That first stock. That was a wacky interaction with the uh, field. Yeah, it, it sure was. <laughs> Just air dodging the way up, it's very good. It's kind of uh, like, Field is level. definitely a very uh, unique move because I love how all the characters uh, play around with their gimmicks, but you really can't influence each other that much. It's like, yeah. there, there's not too many characters that can do it. It's basically Claren and I would say, um, Frag with his Rock. Yeah, Rock just has some weird interactions, but that's mostly like Captain Stance. They're not, they're not supposed to do that a lot of the time. Like, there's some moves that will just launch it instead of breaking it, like the uh, roster down air. Happy little accidents, but, we'll see. And yeah. don't know if that was techable. That's the rest of it. Um, maybe. I don't think that was, like, full uh, DI in there. I, I know Claren down air sends a little bit outwards, but I think that was still a bit less of a uh, horizontal angle than you can get if you really want to. Let's see if Shao can get a nice lead here. Yeah. So far, looking like it. 
That's palm off stage. Not the worst position for her, but uh, yep. and definitely that's a, good a very thing. good good way to recover is palm. Uh, just just mix up your notes. You know, do yep. one uh, charge by field, one not. You know, really mixes up your opponent. It's waiting out all these attacks. Yeah. But there's field again. Yeah, Noir is definitely having to adapt to having to worry about field. You know, you can't yep. anti air Claren with but this, like you can with other characters. Uh, Wow. Okay. I guess spacing there. It's looking pretty dire, but if you are can keep this up, we might see it come back. Yep. Everyone really wants to get in. Just just trying to poke each other. Yeah. See if you can get a smash attack in, maybe. I mean, Clarence is a character that really wants you to approach her. And then... Palm's not a character that really wants to have to approach Claren, so we're seeing a lot of this patient neutral. It's, it's definitely one of her biggest weaknesses that, you know, she can get field up, which gives her very good stage control, but unfortunately she can't force you to come to her mm. a lot of the time. Yeah. Oh, and there's the up tilt tipper off the side. Yep. We love Rockwell. We're going to see a uh, game... <clears throat> yeah, game five, just like that. Game five. Uh, it's going to be Shadow Room staying on the Claren. We're going to Tower Heaven here. We love starters. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me to be barely cashing far there. Interesting that you can use Vince in the field. I wouldn't think that would be the case, but I guess so. Hey, he's a, he's a living person. You can't, uh, not projectile. Yeah, I guess so. He's basically a projectile, though. Basically. <laughs> that's definitely, uh... I, I, it's, it's definitely a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Incoherent with the rest of the game? Mm -hmm. But I mean, I Aren't guess there's some the way the character is designed. There's some weird ones in there. Like, I'm pretty sure Eliana Steam doesn't get deleted by field either. It doesn't? Uh, yeah, if I think it's just because it's like hard to code that in. <laughs> it's very weird. That, that's a funny excuse. It's just like, so why why is this doesn't work? Why doesn't this work compared to this? Oh, do you know how hard that would be to code? Yeah, I mean, Honestly, Steam same. has had so many problems for this game performance-wise before. I don't really blame her. The you other know, thing that I personally hate is uh, if a bomb goes off in Bottle's hand, it doesn't get deleted, even though it does. If it doesn't go off in his hand. So it's only if it can hit him, does it not get deleted? That one always annoys me. Yeah, that's something that's not very fair. I'm going for the fourth strong there. It's not Ooh, gonna get space. Down strong will probably kill here, yeah. We're taking the first stock. Still one forty seven, that is uh that is not trump yeah. change. Especially on uh, this precision, but it's gonna claw back center stage a little bit. Uh not for long though. Yep, gets the feeling. Yeah, no very good. This is where you wanna be at. Just gets nice the air dodge to work. Oh, not quite. But that was quite a conversion. Yeah. I gotta be honest. That uh, that looks like one of the hardest recovery situations you could possibly have in Rivals. So I would not blame Noir. Yeah. yeah so much patience. Definitely got to be careful with just throwing these things out, though, like, uh, Vincent knows, because that down B is still there, yeah. Been a tough habit for Noir to break, although still holding onto the lead, just barely. Perhaps not for long, though, yeah. Not gonna get the tech on that, but not dying either. Very important parry there, yeah. Calling out the rank special. Oh. Barely misplacing that dash attack. And to the Chiver up strong. I think that's the first one we've seen in the set. That's gonna be Shadowhawk or yep. Shadowhawk's Rascal player. Um no. That's gonna be Shadow Rim making the second stock now up with a honestly pretty substantial lead. I mean Yeah, eighty six percent, it's 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 solid. But yeah, you got some skill definitely, options. Tom can definitely kill off this sort of this sort of percent, but we haven't seen those a lot from Noir. And I mean, Clarence has got a lot of air drift, uh, able to get out of Oop. some of those conversions a bit easier than most characters. Vincent's up tilt doesn't quite get the up air. 
Shadow I think Noir is throwing out Vince a little early on these edge guards. I think if if they just yeah. wait like a little bit longer, it might seem more cat. Yeah, they're, they're, it's like they're trying to catch sort of like the upwards motion out of the recovery when really yeah. it's easier to catch the downwards. I think one. it's just a muscle memory problem. Waiting out that L strong. Very good call out. Yeah, yep. there's Vince this time, but not gonna get the direct follow up. Nope. For that flat trap back around these platforms. Yeah, I definitely think that's a good idea. Claren does have that sort of blind spot above and in front of her, and you can really get those with flat drop aerials. Yep. Very nice so use of Vince. They're uh, stuffing out the up B. Yeah. We're 153. This is dangerous, but also, also very dangerous for Noir. Yep, they and... Don't find a kill. And the Tipper Outstrong on the air dodge will take it. Let's see, reverse 3 0 from Shadow Room. Very nice work. Going to be sending Noir out at 7th, uh, tied with Starblock, and that's going to be. Uh, that's going to be Shadow Room advancing. Penny Cup! We got Pendon versus Koa, who I don't know. Apparently, they play Crag.